Good morning. I didn't know I was going to go on cold. I'm Stephanie Carter. Um, I, you know, it's been six months since Ash died, and uh, I'm still not as great on my feet um, as I would love to be. So I hope you'll offer me some grace that I'm going to work from notes a little bit. Um, you know, if you ever had uh, dinner with Ash, he had a couple rules. One was that you leave on time, and that usually occurred before eight o'clock. But the other one was that the table try to have one conversation. And um, I think that this conference and this topic is a manifest in all his work on technology and national security and technology and public purpose, um, was around the idea that we all needed to have one conversation that we needed to bring together the best of technologists, scientists, policymakers, practitioners, and academics to really wrestle with what he saw as the defining issue of our time, something that he thought we could grab all the, I would say, benefits and fruits of technology and help to mitigate the sort of ills. Um, and he thought we could only do that if we were all having one conversation. So I want to first really thank Ilbert, Illy, and the whole team at um, SCSP for putting together this conference and making sure that we can all have one conversation today. I also want to thank so many people that have showed up to, you know, moderate and speak and to really pull this conversation forward because this conversation for Ash was cut short. Um, it was really the issue that animated him late in his life. Uh, not, we didn't know it was late in his life, but... <laughs> In his later days, Ash was never someone that was content to kind of stay stuck in the past. And, you know, there are a lot of people that would have had the experiences Ash has had, had the wins that Ash had, made meaningful differences that he made. And, you know, they kind of trade on that for the rest of their days. And he was always on to what was the next thing, what was the next problem. And this is one that was really near and dear to his heart. Um, his great legacy, though, is really people. And they're all in this room. And I'm seeing so many people who touched his life and who he, I hope, touched their life. And I just hope that, you know, we can continue that momentum, that we can continue bringing people into this one conversation and to really make sure that we ensure that the, he used to like to say, and I know everyone's heard this, um, so you can drink, this is the drinking game now, um, that you know, technological change is unstoppable, and we know that, but it is shapeable, and uh, it's gonna take the efforts of everybody in this room and so many other rooms to make sure that we bend it for doing good for our society. And, you know, we really try to, again, use it as a competitive uh, advantage for the United States and for, you know, liberal democracy, and that we keep trying to shape it in a way that would make Ash proud. So I thank you so much. And I'm going to call up Ilbert, who has worked just tirelessly on putting this together in not a lot of time. And uh, I uh, really thank all of you for being here today. And it, it really warms my heart. Thank you.